president's actions demonstrate his absolute inability to discharge the most basic and fundamental powers and duties of his office. Therefore, the president must be removed from office immediately. I urge my Republican colleagues to open their eyes and to finally hold this president accountable. The security of our country and the future of our very democracy are at stake. Those latest comments from Pelosi coming as Vice President Mike Pence rejected a House Democratic resolution calling on him to help oust Mr Trump under the 25th Amendment. A little earlier, we spoke to our Washington correspondent, Ketavan Gordistani, for more. First off, uh, the uh, House has uh, voted now on a resolution to demand that the Vice President invoke the 25th Amendment. That resolution passed, of course, uh, with a majority of uh, the Democrat and one Republican lawmaker uh, voting to uh, require that 25th Amendment to be invoked by the Vice President. Uh, but Mike Pence had said even before that vote had he was not going to go along with it, saying that it was not in the best interest of our nation or consistent with our Constitution. Now, the impeachment vote is going to be taking place uh, this uh, Wednesday, and uh, Democrats uh, are expected, of course, uh, to vote in favor of that impeachment. Uh, but there are a growing number of uh, Republicans uh, who are saying that they will back that impeachment vote as well, at least five of them uh, now, including the number three Republican in uh, the House of Representatives, Liz Cheney. Liz Cheney, who put out a statement uh, saying that there has been never been a greater betrayal by a president of the United States, of his office and his oath to the Constitution. Uh, so at least five Republicans, uh, some are saying that there might be even more close to a dozen Republicans that might vote in favor of uh, that impeachment in the House. The question after that vote uh, will be when those article, that article of impeachment impeachment will be transferred on to the Senate and when that Senate trial will take place. Uh, but it is very, very likely that Donald Trump this Wednesday will become the first president of the United States to be impeached twice.